Kentucky has a talented running back in Chris Rodriguez. And that's a name we might hear even more on Saturday if quarterback Will Levis isn't able to go, as multiple reports have indicated that the QB is questionable heading into Saturday's matchup. Having a chance to be able to catch up with former Gamecock running back Marcus Lattimore, he shared why there's one player in particular you should keep an eye on for South Carolina this weekend. And a lot of it has to do with the fact, well, we keep hearing so much about Rodriguez. Well, I know from a running back perspective, when when I when I hear talk about the opposing running back all week and how good Chris Rodriguez is, and yes, he is a really good back. Uh, he runs hard. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a great NFL back. But you keep hearing that shit over and over again by everybody you come in contact with. Chris Rodriguez. Chris Rodriguez. I know Marshawn Lloyd. Marshawn Lloyd is sick of hearing about Chris Rodriguez. Uh, and you know, I know he's a humble cat, and he would never admit this, but he wants to prove that he's better than Chris Rodriguez, and he has the ability. He has the skill. He has all the tools that Chris Rodriguez has. Um, you know, so from that perspective, I think we can we, we we can expect a flash. We can we can we can expect to see some some things that we hadn't seen yet from 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 Marshawn Lloyd, and which we've already. I mean, we've already he's already shown that he can do whatever you ask him to do in the run game. You know, he can run inside. He can run outside. Heck, he can catch the ball and, and make people miss. He can do whatever you want him to do. But I, I I, really, really think we have to go back. Before I answer that question, Mike, we have to go back to what Nick said. Like, the, Kentucky is in the situation that we will be in three or four years from now. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a building phase. It's a building process. And, you know, no... <laughs> No, everything won't be perfect. You know, Kentucky won two games their first year, five games the second year, and they've just been building on that. But that we're in that phase right now, and I remember Kentucky in that phase. They were scary. They were scared. We, we, we were always, I know for certain, we were always concerned when they came to town or when we went to Lexington. And – what fans need to know is that we are going to compete. It's not going to be, it's not going to be the Arkansas game, you know, Arkansas, we competed, you know, we, we didn't get blown out. This game is going to be competitive. Uh, it's going to be competitive simply because it's our second time. It's our second time this season on the road in the SEC. So it, it, it's just, you have to get a feel of of what it's like when you're in a when you're in a hostile environment. And as a reminder, following Saturday's game, be sure to tune in to the GC Live post game show. Former Gamecock quarterback Perry Orth will be joining me this weekend for the latest on all your Gamecock news. Keep it locked in to GamecockCentral.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Yuba.